We are live. We are live. We are live. All right, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing one and two and three. I'm hoping that you can hear me because I can hear you. Okay, that's live. Um, but I believe that my mic is working well and that we should be good because I started looking at it. We had great mic service for here. Yeah. So what we're going to do today is if you can see what we have listed is that we are doing a um, live sew-in today. And so I had the pleasure of having the amazing, the incredible, the awesome Brandon to come and join us. We have been all over today. When I say we Diller, we Diller TV has been all over. We had some wonderful things that was happening with Merit to Medicine today, which was really, really fun. Um, look for some great stuff that's happening. I mean, I, I, I was trying to be a little secretive, but we don't have to. <laughs> look for some great things that are coming in the future um, that, are, that are there. But then we needed to get back here because we wanted to make sure that we continue to bring the education and bring what you guys was looking for. And what you guys are looking for was this full on live sewing. It's going to take us about an hour and 15 minutes to do full, full service. But Brandon is going to be able to kind of help guide you through this. So, yeah, you said you can't hear. See, there it is. Let me make sure the hearing is. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. We are going to get Mike and Mike and Mike. And nope, that's not the correct mic. Don't know what to do. Hold, please. Hold, please. Testing, testing, testing. Can you hear me now? Testing, testing. Can you hear me now? Hello, Jewel. Can you hear me, Jewel? Can you hear me? Say yes, baby. And if you say yes, you can hear me, then we are good. Looks like Mike is working. Do we have mic? Do we have sound? Yeah! Okay, so. Yeah, but I switched on camera, so hold on one second. Hold, please. Hold, please. Let me get my camera right. And... Jewel, say you can hear me again. Hello, hello. Say you can hear me again. Can you hear us? Say yes, you can. Say yes, you can. Jewel, you right there, baby. I know you be right there looking at us. Can you hear us? Say yes again. You say yes again, I might do a dance. Come on, let me see you do a dance. You don't want to see me do a dance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see me do a dance. I think I got the wrong career today. <laughs> mix is good. Mix is good. So that means you you can hear us. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Mike is Mike is good. I think she said Mike is good. Perfect. You can hear us. Wow. I told you I was gonna do a dance. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. Bet. All right. Good, now that you can hear us, now we can start over again. Yes, perfect, perfect. <laughs> You're right, just I meant Mike, not mix. Right, perfect. So we can start now. So good, I'm glad you guys have joined us. You can hear us, right? We're gonna go ahead and start into this right now. Um, I'm trying my best to talk my best through the mic and I'm trying to stay a little far away from them at the same time, but I wanna make sure that you guys can hear everything that we are saying. So we're going to start with a sew-in. And it's a live show in. So, Brandon, without further ado, Brandon Jones, I have all the information listed of who he is. Brandon is an amazing, amazing artist and educator as well. And Brandon is a stylist from Houston, right? Uh, yes, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, because they speak so different down there. <laughs> we country. They so country. <laughs> country got me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we have our model Diamond. Diamond has joined us. And Diamond, I don't know why you took off your blockers, honey. Put them back on because you're killing them with the blockers, right? We got Diamond here, and Diamond is a beautiful model. She's going to be the recipient of this wonderful do. So, Brandon, go ahead. Without further ado, here you go, baby. Go ahead. 
Hey y'all. Y'all if y'all did not see it in the comments, y'all can't follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is here by B Jones. That's here by underscore B Jones on IG. So what we're actually gonna get ready to start today with is the molding of the cap. Um, she does have a traditional straight back braid down. Um, you can do this braid down with any closure, any size closure. Today we'll be using a 4x4 four four closure, but you can use it with any closure, any frontal with this normal technique. Um, before we start molding that down, um, I'm going to start off by applying the Gots to Be Glue across her hairline. What that does is help to lay down her baby hairs to make it real smooth for me to start molding her cap down to our hair. Give me paper towels. Uh-uh. You good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I sit on my nose. It's the nose part for me. <laughs> so guys, at this point, if you want to have any questions as he's doing this, um, please, by all means, ask your questions. Um, and what he just said was he used a got to be that got to be he has used on so he can do a molding on the head for this so in. And it's a traditional so in with a closure. So Brandon, it looks like you're applying more on yeah. the, the cap. Now, on the cap? Yes, on the cap. I also apply the glue. Um, that's just gonna mold it, and I'm also gonna apply the got to be spray. That's gonna help mold that in while I actually go into plucking up my closure. Um, for me, my personal preference, um, because your fingers do produce oil, I always when I come down to mold, and I always use the metal tip red tail. To help smooth that, that spray inside that hair to help blend that in and mix that in together. So based off of what I'm noticing here is uh, the last uh, individual that uh, did it, they used their fingers and you, you, you make a choice to use not your fingers because of the natural oils that your body produces at that point. Correct. Gotcha. Guys, also, when, as he's molding this, I'll go ahead and give you the products that he's giving you the products that's best that he chooses to use. I want to tell you that whenever we're doing stuff like this, we, you, you know, we do have our glue. We do have, you know, amazing products that we have as well. Um, I, I always say do not limit the hairstylist to saying, oh, you can only use this. And, oh, you can only use that. You know, yeah, you're going to use hair of ours. Absolutely. Uh, and you're going to learn. Absolutely. But at the same time, and Brandon, if you want, right, at this point, um, if you want to come here a little closer so they can see, if you want to move the chair a little closer, it's up to you. So right now, what I'm end up doing, I'm actually plucking hair of her closure. Like I said, we're using a 4x4. She has a 12-inch closure from, of course, private label. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking it and plucking and making this hairline look as natural as possible. And as I pluck, I'm actually steady just doing a swiping motion, trying to pluck out hair just to make sure it's still natural flowing because you don't want it really thick around the hairline. You still want it to make it look natural like she does. Even if she doesn't do baby hair, which is some do, some don't, that's a preference on you. You don't have to have baby hair if you don't want to, but that's totally up to you. And that's all I'm doing is just going in. I'm just going right here, we're going straight down with it. Then I'm actually gonna part it. And pluck some more. So guys, I'm actually zooming in so you can see exactly what he's doing with his hands. So you can get a close view of what's happening. So he parted the hair. He first started out with plucking. Plucking across that front hairline. Across the front hairline. And then once he finished that, 
he parted the hair and began to pluck more at that point. And Brandon, I love being able to use a white base or background so you can see exactly how you're, um, like if you are looking at it, you can see exactly how, how you're moving that hair from that closure. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought you was about to sneeze, huh? Oh, well, yeah, I thought so. It didn't want to come, but I'm glad it didn't. Good. <laughs> 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 So what I'm also doing is not just going straight back and forth, I'm actually going at an angle to the side too. This is helping picking up hair. Um, you may not notice that you're picking up hair right now because you're slowly picking it up. Um, because you don't want to have a tendency to where you over pluck your closure, but you want to still pluck it enough to where it still looks natural. And you're going to run your comb through there and you'll see all that hair that you was plucking. You see it's all coming out. That's what you want. And go back and pluck some more. Now, I know when some people do their plucking with this, I know that sometimes um, they may do about, um, hold on. Sometimes they, when they're plucking the hair, they may, um, you know, remove about, I don't know, 10, 20% of that, um, of, of that hair. And some people take about 30 minutes to do a plucking. Some people take about 10 minutes to do a plucking. And just all the plans, you determine the plucking that you want. There is no exact way to say it's plucked. It's not a wrong way to pluck it. You pluck it for your naturalness. Gotcha. We do have some other questions that we're going to get to. I'm going to get around that to those questions, but I want to make sure that you guys can see a visual of as he's going through and plucking this. And then, Diamond, I'm going to have you to screw up just a little bit more so they can see you. So while we're focusing on this, I'm going to have you just screw up just a little bit more. Because I did mention, I mean, I noticed that that was one of the questions. Could she come a little closer? Perfect. Thank you. Dan. Excellent. Again, we had did, did so many you know, running around town and, you know, all over the place filming this morning. Uh, we've been going since early, early this morning. And it's so good to be a part of a, uh, of a journey here with Private Label Extensions where we are, you know, really starting to see ourselves and some other um, aspects. We've, all, we've, we've been around for a while, for a long while, you know, and it's so good to be able to see some other things that we are seeing with this and you guys will see it very very soon um but it's also so good to see these different journeys i do want you guys to follow our our weed dealer tv um i, I won't tell you who saw it you know what i can say who saw it because she said quad saw it today and started dying laughing she said that is so phenomenal i love it i love it i love it she said this is so cool um, but I, I really would love for you guys to, you know, follow it. It's on Instagram, Weed Dealer TV. The series is coming out this month. Um, Mikey and I have, you know, really worked really, really hard with uh, Marcus and, and Dave and Cheer. We were really working hard to really get you guys a, a, a behind the scenes, you know, look of how everything works in this industry, educational wise. Um, you know, as far as technical wise, when I say Mikey is the technical guru, baby. So these are all amazing things that, you know, people really want to know. They want to see how it's working, you know. But at the same time, hairstylists, we know you guys want to see them right here. They want to see exactly how this works. Um, another question that someone asked, um, Brandon, is that why would you use a cap when you're doing a sewing? What's your you know reasoning behind using a cap? Okay, so the reason behind you cap, can continue to keep doing that because I don't like holding this camera over here. You can do two <laughs> things at one time. You can chew gum and talk and work your belly at the same time. No. Okay, so the reason why I use the cap is mainly because I want that hair closure to look as natural as the skin as to the skin as I can get it. Um, with that cap that I can't do on a real scalp, I want to be able to. Um, 
I can't walk into them at the same time. Right. I, yo, if y'all can see me, I'm over here going, come on, keep on, keep on. And he, he had to stop and go, um, um, um. <laughs> But I use that sort of blend in a layer a lot better for your natural hair. And you'll actually see what I'm doing with that cap. I'm going to cut most of it off. And because when I add my foundation and makeup and all the other stuff to it, you'll see. So, um, you'll see the purpose of why I use that and why I use that instead of using it to the natural scalp. Right. So you're saying, hey, this is my personal choice. My personal choice for me using a closure is that I choose to put a cap on to give you more of a um, realistic good. look for you. Correct. Gotcha. Gotcha. Totally get it. Now, again, this is, you know... A, a tedious process of being yeah. able to go through, give such a real uh, type of, of, you know, plucking and, and customizing this hairline for for your guests. Another thing that I noticed people they would do is they would bleach them as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they would bleach them as well. So halfway through here, I'm going to check where I had <clears throat> applied her glue across the front just to lay down her natural hair. I want to check that and see how that's drying, and it's drying just like I needed to. So when that fully dries, then I'll actually be able to be ready to actually get started. I'm going to give that like five minutes, and then I can actually continue to pluck this on when it's on her head if I need to pluck some more. And listen, I'm being and by real the way, Dallas, I just want to let you know, this is a really good closure. Ha! Um, this is not my first time using a proper label closure. So yes, that is. I like it. It's, um, it's Tell me why you like a private label extensions closure brand. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, these closures are nice and full. Um, some closures I've dealt with is really hard to pluck, but these closures are really easy to pluck. They're very good at lightening. It's a lot of good things they actually really do compared to some of the closures that I've dealt with. For those that know, uh, have ever dealt with other closures, you can understand the different challenges that you can get with these closures. This hair lightens really well. It, of course, plugs really well. Some closures you have to plug better when it's wet. Um, I'm actually having a good time actually plugging this while it's dry. I had to move the camera back a little bit some because Diamond was up here nodding her head up and down. At the same time, because Diamond is a hairstylist also, y'all, even though she's a mom, she's a hairstylist, and Diamond uses the product as well. And again, she's like, oh my God, it's amazing. Um, Brandon, again, thank you for giving that information. I, um, hey, listen, I know Mikey is listening going, yo, that's the kind of information we need to hear. Um, one thing I will say about Mikey, Mike, Mikey makes a a strong, strong, strong effort of making sure that he's going to give you the best of the best of the best of the best. And even though Mikey is a geek and knowing everything about how to run this, you know, run the business and how to support the business, um, you know, with everything that we're doing, the, the business connection, understanding everything behind the computer, technology king, all of that, he still is so, so animate about making sure that each one of our, our our customers have the best. And so that's why we, we he, he looks for the best. That's why he says, hey, Dallas, look at this. Tell me what you think about this. Is this too full? Does this color? Does this do this? It's like he's constantly trying to get that information. And we appreciate that. And the, and the customer, consumer appreciates it as well. Like you guys, you appreciate that. So definitely we love to hear when customers or users are actually saying, hey, this is this is great. You know, I've used others before and I've got this process from, from, from that one. Okay, so we're gonna actually stop with the plucking for right now. You can use gonna throw it on my floor. No, I'm gonna throw it on your floor. <laughs> yeah, I mess with Brandon all the time. I love me some Brandon. Brandon and I, we have such a good time because I love his his you know countryness, you know, that 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 southern draw he had. So right now, what we're actually going to do is actually go through here and actually start removing this closure piece. If you notice that, like I said, we're using a 4x4. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. 
I have to make sure you are balanced. Perfect. And back in there. Perfect. You know that one off? Huh? You know that one off? No, I'm not on that anymore. Okay. All right. Now you can go ahead. And I'm getting ready to get back over here so we can look at some of these questions because I know people are asking for these questions. So what I'm actually going to do now, um, so she's going to go down the middle. We're going to do a middle part because we're doing more of a natural look. She wants that easy get up and go type look, something that's very easy and maintainable. And because with her job, and of course with her being a hairstylist, she wants something that's going to be easy and maintained because she's going to also be putting work into your hair. She ain't got time to put it in hers. So what I do now is I go through here and cut off this cap. Be very careful with the shears you are because like I said, this cap is nine to nine ten, starting to mold to our head. Look a little bit on the Nope, you're in the front of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's all I'm doing is just basically cutting off this cap. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut off the rest of this. And what I'm going to do is basically pull this cap up to her hairline. Her hairline is exactly where I want to lay my closure. And that also, this cap helps that closure stick a lot better compared to what her, like I said, your body and your hands produce oils, your natural oils. So that help, that cap helps produce and stick that, that closure to that head to make it more of a natural, realistic look. Jewel, are you back on? Are you able to see it again? Looks like you guys are back in. I don't know what happened with the uh, connection. So, what I'm actually going to do now, I have that cap where I need it. Just kind of look back and look at the camera to see where you are, so to see if the audience can see you. What I'm doing is now, like I said, cutting off this excess extra piece of her cap. Because we're right here at that hairline. Um, and then what we're going to do now is after you get this here. Thank you, Robert. What I ask for every client that I ask to do is to bring their foundation. Not that, yeah, that foundation or concealer. And the reason being is because these caps, if you notice that these caps are like this tannish color. Um, so you want to get it. It doesn't matter if you get a tan color for the darker ones. You go to a darker cap. There are these caps do come in a lot of different colors. But we're gonna actually start applying concealer right here around the front of this cap just to help blend that and make that more of a natural look. So I like that idea. You ask the actual um, customer, "Hey, the client, hey." Um, you know, bring your foundation that you normally use uh, for your makeup, bring that with you. So that we can get it all to blend in. And you wanna put it right there in that area where that closure is going to sit. And thank you for explaining about, you know, this being a working woman and with her being a working woman, this is something that she's gonna wear for, for a little bit. Um, one of the things that I want to point out to you guys and of course, Diamond and Brandon will speak to it, is that if you're gonna be wearing some extensions, especially a sew-in, um, your hair is gonna be up under some, 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 some you know, tracks, wefts, you know, maybe for a couple of weeks, maybe for three weeks, maybe for a month, maybe for a month and a half. And so we do recommend that you do proper care to your own hair first. Do your proper conditioning, your proper mm -hmm. shampooing. Make sure you're properly taking care of that because if not, you know, that's that hair is gonna be up under there unattended. At all. And you don't want that hair matted up once you get it out. Because if you don't tend to that hair, when that hair comes out, that's gonna be a hot matted mess. Ooh, and hot, I have seen it. I'm matted, sorry, I'm just gonna be really honest with you. I've seen it done. Hot matted mess. Wow. That's a way to say it. Especially <laughs> because every day your hair already sheds so much naturally. And especially when you get to washing that hair too as well, inside the hair, because you have those that have those little OCDs, and yes, you can. With it being a sewing, yes, you can do that. 
You can't shampoo your hair while this is in your hair. But don't try to shampoo down at the braids, as far as down the braids, shampoo the hair. That's what we ask for you to take care of your real hair prior to what's going on. Absolutely. And I, I'm just going to be real honest. Yeah, I understand that you have a sew-in, but in my case, I always tell my customer, come on back to the salon. I give a great you know, deal for you to come back into the salon and visit with me so I can shampoo your hair. So I can properly get down, shampoo your hair, get all the way down to that base, being able to get all that moisture out, being able to, excuse me, condition your hair properly, get you up under a dryer, get you really, really dry so there's no moisture that's in there at that point. Yeah, that's, that's the key. The key is getting all that moisture out. Once you've gotten all that moisture out, and then we can begin with our process of our styling. That's how you maintain your hair. That's how you maintain the extensions. I also am a, a stickler for um, this, and we, we're not able to do, we're able to do that today, but we got a hairstylist who put this on, so that hairstylist, hey, she knows how to do it. I'm a stickler for, I just don't pull my bundles out and just start sewing in. I do a shampoo and condition with my bundles and let it completely dry. And then I install, you know? So I recommend that with people. Just don't pull them out all, you know? Now, now I, I do I think that our, our extensions are great and that you can do that? You absolutely can. I have done it before without a problem. But I still say that I like to shampoo and condition my, um, my extensions and let them fully dry. Um, it's almost like a pre-treat that I'm doing for that before I put it in the customer's head. It just feels so much better and it works so much better for me. So right now what y'all did notice while he was sitting there talking, I did go ahead and install, well, thread through two needles. Um, when I do my closures, I add in two needles for security reasons. Um, and I'll show you why in one second. He says security reasons, baby, like it's about to be a break-in. Hey, baby, these, they, these girls take these weeds serious. You better secure that head out. Ha! They take care of that more than they take care of anything else. That's their money. <laughs> and especially if you you good at what you're doing, they're going to go continue to come. So now we're going to ask Donna for our help. Your model's here to help you for a reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this here. I'm going to get her to lock this down first. Okay. I see this hand right here. This one right here. So what I did is I laid it where I wanted to, I uh, laid her closure where I wanted to lay it. Um, I'm gonna actually go through and mold it some more. I just wanna lock down her closure first. Um, the reason I locked down the closure first is because like I say, one of those people that we look and one of the things that we notice is that we look for flatness. Um, we don't, who wants a big bulky sew in? Nobody. Nobody. So I have her laying this down. Um, I have her holding this down so I can start locking this down first before I actually install it, start installing my hair. If you want to turn her to the side, you can. Just so you can, there you go. Educational pieces, educational wise. Go ahead and show the world. Ben dope, show the world. <laughs> I'm telling you, what a good time. Oh my God, please don't start. <laughs> I love you already. All right, we are right. What they expect, baby? Listen, <laughs> Brandon and I have some of the best conversations. I'm not going to tell y'all what those conversations are, but we have some of the best conversations on a daily or every other day basis. Even if we hadn't talked to each other for about two weeks, three weeks, well, it ain't never been three weeks, but it's been a week and it's been two. Dallas was the first friend that I made when I was here, moved here from um, Houston. And I'm actually really grateful that I actually met him. Yeah, he's a little nutcase if you really pay attention to him. Yeah, yeah. But that's the DC in him. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> but he's a really sweetheart at heart. And that's See? why I love him. Yeah, he gets on my nerves, but that's my big brother. I'm okay. We do. We get on, we're going to need each other now. We're going to need each other noobs. And what but. you also notice that I'm doing now is I'm steady locking it and I'm steady stitching. I'm actually showing you how this once I finish stitching. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually rotating from both sides, locking down and anchoring it and hopping from side to side to low key stitch it. And I'm also pulling it down to make sure that it stay flat. 
Now, one of the things that I, we, uh, Marcus and I, we were talking about it. Um, Marcus was here when we were talking about how we lock down our closures. And, uh, you know, there's so many different ways. And, and he, he said, you know, that was when I first started before I even got information from you. He said that he would sew from one side to the other. And then all of a sudden that closure was like sideways mm -hmm. and, and quicker. And I'm like, yeah, unless you have a sewing machine on top of her head going, and which that won't ever happen, <laughs> that 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 unit is going to move while you're doing it. And so um, one of the things that I was taught is almost the same exact thing what Brandon is doing. And that was to sew and, you know, secure each side as you go. And so I would I first started out with my you know, let me go ahead and just do one side while the client is holding or the customer is holding the other side. Let me do one side and then I go over to the other side. But then I got taught this technique, which is you sew a couple of pieces on one side, move over to the next side. So a couple of more pieces again, move over to the next side. So a couple of more pieces again. Because what you're doing when you're going to both sides, you're actually stretching that closure out and pulling it this way. So when you pull it this way, it has no choice but to lay flat to the head. Boom. So that's a good little technique. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good little technique for some who haven't. Um, or for, and I'm telling you for myself, I've used that before and it works. It works. So again, we're doing a live sew in right now, guys. Uh, he is attaching a closure. While he's attaching this closure, he's doing it with a cap. The reason why he chose to do a cap at this point is because with his full sew ends, he does choose a cap because he likes a more natural, more lived in look, more organic look. And so he chose to use a cap there. He's gonna cut most of the cap off, but again, he loves to put a cap on before he does his full sew ends. Um, and another question people wants to know, <clears throat> Is it smart to put one of these caps on and also put a net on? So what I would do, yes, you can put a net on for those that actually do their installments with nets. You can't add that net to it, but I wouldn't add it to where your closure is. I would actually add it to the space that I'm actually going to get ready to cut off. So I'm going to cut off all of this closure on um, this cap piece. And if you wanted to, as your preference, if you wanted to add a net cap to it, too, for the security purposes of why you're doing your actual install so. But today, no, we're not going to be actually adding the net to her today. That's just going to... Um, she said she don't really like the net. She's like, she can't really scratch her head like she wants to. <laughs> Come on, hairstylist. And I scratch. <laughs> right? I can't, I can't get into it. I'm and patting. Okay, you can let it go. Now, we have chosen today Brazilian Loose Wave. That Brazilian loose wave, you can go on our website, privatelevelextensions.com. When you go on that website, um, the Brazilian loose wave, you can find the closure. And we're using a 12 inch and a 14 inch. We're going with, again, a more corporate woman's length, a more business woman's look. Uh, that way she can still be business woman. She can still be sexy. She can still be, you know, pop it, lock it, drop it, do whatever she needs to do at that point. I mean, <laughs> her name is Diamond, okay? And she does not swing on anybody's poles. Let's just go ahead and tell you that right there, okay? But this, she, but this Diamond can dance. But this Diamond can dance, yeah. Um, <laughs> now that he's placed that. I'm going to cut this cap off. He's I'm cutting the cap off I'm now. Guys, are you able to see him um, really good as he's going through? He's going to show it to you. She's going to get a little closer up to the camera. So right now, I'm actually going to swing her around and show y'all this. I know when I see a lot of people I know that do, um, you know, some, some you know, so sew ins or whatever, you see that uh, whiteness is up under there, and they're like, nope, I get rid of it. I'm like, okay, there it is. Yeah. All right. And you see her cap is only there. It's just the cap is there just for that. This is all her hair that we had got sewn up that we braided it down. 
Um, we're actually going to solve it there. Like I said, I'm here for the flatness, so we're going to actually make sure that's really flat across there. So now, if you can, Diamond, just kind of lean up a little bit here. And when we lean up over here, lean in and get your head in there. So can you, there you go, yeah. Turn to the opposite side. There you go, good. And there, perfect. And he's showing how that is flat to the head. I do love that you do have your 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 uh, straightening comb, your electrical straightening comb. You're going to do really uh, a, a you know jam up job of getting everything done here today. Oh, that's what we want. That's what you do, huh? Them lashes, father. Ooh, I wonder who and lashes are those. I wonder who lashes are those. Right, I wonder who lashes are those. <laughs> Donna, who's... Them lashes sitting. Uh-uh, they sitting high. Hey, oh, boom. Yeah, they don't know, but I'm conceited, so... Very. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Everybody that wants to know for the lashes, yes, that is a private label lash. Oh, I'm sorry. That is a private label <laughs> lash. I mean, because she didn't say anything. <laughs> Them last, she kept saying, yeah. them last. She was sitting. too busy. She was, she was worried about herself. All right, she was too busy enjoying <laughs> herself. Them last is sitting. <laughs> she kept saying, them last is sitting. Okay, girl, we got it. <laughs> but who lashes are they? Right. They yeah. Private label. They private label extensions, baby. Private label extensions. That's what I like about private label. Private label has everything that you need. Whoop, whoop. Wait, say that again. Private label, private label extensions have everything you need. They have the hair, the bonnet, the strap that help it lay it down. They have the lashes. They have the glue to glue it down. Anything you need, it's a one-stop shop. Ha! They, I almost took a fall out and lay it on this ground over there. It's fine now. Okay, like this, friend. I love you, but if you fall out, I'm going to leave you down. Now. Ooh! <laughs> he just told me I'm fat. How to mind. I ain't say that. How to mind. I'm he fat. Just, <laughs> he just told me I'm fat. How to mind. My nerves just tore up. I got to call somebody. <laughs> He said, you're fat. <laughs> That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. You're fat. Wow. Wow. So when it comes down to my sewing, um, I do a lock stitch sewing, um, a lock stitch method. Um, due to time constraint, I can't actually go down and break that down for y'all on my stitching. Um, but So we're not actually breaking down and showing y'all all the stitching. I'll actually do my first row, and then I'll show y'all how flat that lays before I actually finish feeding off into the rest of it. It's actually going to go really quick. If you notice, I did thread two needles. Um, I normally work with like three or four needles, but today I'm only working with two of them, so I can actually get through it. So why are you doing that? I just had to add that in there. Mm. Come on, for a beat. Yeah, hit that bass. Yeah. Just know that there's a private label extension coming that's going to cover everybody. Did I mention we got hair stations? So pay attention. The most quality brand. We got it. We got it. The most quality brand. Can't stop it. Can't stop it. Sustainable and right. easy to manage. Oh, let me pause. Sustainable and easy to manage, baby. But go ahead. There you go. So right now what I have done, I have created her first row. Um, You see how what I did, I created that right there at the bottom. Just in case if she does decide to pull that up, she does have this whole little flatness right here. So that's why I started at the bottom and created that first bottom. So now that's how flat we're going to actually get this whole entire stall. So the bottom, just in case she needs to pull it up, just in case she get into a good old tussle okay. at the club. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. You know, because you know, folks are like, they, they baby haters out there, and they try to get you. They go straight for the hair? They go straight for the hair, but baby, you can tell when you got a good sewing that when they go for the hair, and it don't go nowhere. It don't go nowhere. It don't go nowhere. They go, oh my God, I done held on to this it. head, the head go with it. <laughs> baby, because I didn't see something get snatched and they come right off. Oh, you like, wait a minute, was that not secure? What, what <laughs> happened? 
So again, being able to see this sew in, I know you like, you know, some people are like, oh my God, it's a sew in. It's going to take about two hours to do a sew in. It really does not. For educational purposes, we're going about an hour and 15 minutes here. We are talking a little bit, you know, having a little bit of fun, as we always do. <laughs> we can't help it. We can't help it. We, we do shows together. Mona, we love you too, baby. I just saw you. We love you too. So he's going in and he's adding that. Listen, Brandon and them, and them hands. I, I, I Between Brandon and I, we are heavy handed, handed yeah. people. <laughs> I had them both in my head. I had them both in my head before. And Ooh, oh my goodness. Heavy. Like, <laughs> heavy. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, it is hilarious. I mean, I was looking at myself just recently, and I didn't know that I'm that heavy. But I was looking at myself just... <laughs> and, and, and then tried to say, no, I have control. It, no. I do. It's control. I need control. But I was watching myself on the Barnard Brothers show and I was watching me put tape ins in. And as I was watching me put tape ins in, um, me. The, the, but, but, but Destiny, the model, she was lifting her head up and looking. Every time she'd lift her head up, I'd push her head down. And I was looking at it going, oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Am I that heavy? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. It don't even be a lay your head down, TV. It's yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, it's these big old. It's these big old hands, y'all. It's, it's these big old hands. I'm gonna let y'all laugh. So I was on my mother's grandpa's birthday a few weeks ago. She says, "Honey, I understand you over there teaching them students, but this is not a mannequin head. Can you lay them on my head?" <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I really? love your she mother. Said, yes. I love she your said, mother. This is a head down here. You gotta, you gotta lighten up, boo boo. Now the Brazilian loose wave. Let me just give you an idea. The 12 inch. You can find it on our website, privatelabelextensions.com. When you find it there, um, retailing there is $35.90. It's $35.90. Um, you can go to our 14 inch, and that 14 inch is um, at a $40. That is our Brazilian loose wave. He did add a 12 inch closure. That 12 inch closure is at 50. So you're looking about mm, 126. 90 or something like that for the price point of the hair itself. Okay. Um, before taxing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Before the tax. Looking at that before taxing. Um, and of course, you have to charge for your for your uh the install. And so depending on the the person that you're working with, there's so many different price points that are out there. I say a couple of things, and then I'll 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 let Brandon, you know, tell me how his thought process is. But for me, for moi, I charge for the area as well as for my education, as far as my techniques and my education. I, you know, I went 1,500 hours. I went to a couple of schools because I, I, I needed to get more education and I wanted more education. I wanted more education. So I've been to three different schools getting, gaining continued education. Um, and so I do charge accordingly based off of those amount of monies and hours and times and efforts and me going to these different classes and yada. I ain't a YouTube. I ain't saying nothing wrong with YouTube, y'all. I ain't saying nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying is that I, I made sure I went to my places what I need to get. So I say charge accordingly to your area and also court, charge according, accordingly to your technique. If I am in a place that the average of that place is twenty dollars, which I would never be. But if it's twenty dollars, then why would I want to charge two hundred? I know you're saying, "Well, I'm setting up stuff apart." But if your area, you gotta remember your demographics. You gotta remember your demographics, okay? Um, you know, would Neiman Marcus do great in the hood? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. You know, I mean, who knows? But I do know them. The, the sneaker store. You say I had to say it real hood. The sneaker store. Yes, I love me a good tennis shoe. A oh, baby, a good tennis shoe, baby. You put it in the hood, it's gonna do real well over there. Okay, but Probably you you put Louis. something else over there. They're like, um, we, we're not wearing that. Better than the fake Louis. Woo! So, Brandon, tell me what your charge would be. Um, doing a sew-in like this, a traditional sew-in. Um. Okay. For and, and and you can be general. You can be general. You don't have to say, oh, this is my price. 
<laughs> um, it all depends on the length of hair, the amount of hair that we're putting in. Um, like with her, what we're doing today, she, like I said, with the business woman, we want the more of a natural look. So we're only doing a, we're only doing two bundles, but I can put up to five bundles, six bundles, and of course, you because you have girls that like big hair, and especially when you going out of the thirty and forty inches and long hair like that, you need multiple bundles. Um, so it just depends on what you're getting done. Um, it just all depends on what we're doing. And I'm out of work. We do because I do I do installments. I do color. I do it all. So, but if you do inbox me and you want to talk about prices and everything, and we can actually set up and talk about yours. Consultation. You can call me. You can inbox me, and we can actually set that up to talk about that, and we'll go from now. Now, I love that Brandon is double um, double wefting, and as you're double because you you fold it right. Oh yeah, folded. Right, it's but, folded. No, it's not um, the whole thing. It's not folded. I single tracked it, but I folded. I didn't cut my tracks. Right. Um, I don't cut my tracks because cutting your tracks do cause shedding. Um, especially for those that do the installments and want to wear their weave and it sits over again. That is helpfully easy, easy for you to take that out and re-put that back in and re-still keeping that. One thing a stylist and I'm just gonna speak for as a stylist in general. One thing that we hate is for a girl to come up there with a whole lot of cut bundles. Ooh. But you having a match piece, match piece, match piece. I hate that with a passion. Ooh. I it love my girls that do it. It slows us down a lot. Woo. An average sew-in for me with breakdown and stopping everything, I can do it in under an hour and a half. But um, of course, but if you're coming with all stuff like that, it just all depends on what we're doing. It's like a jigsaw puzzle when they puzzle when they come in there with. Bad. I mean, all different lengths. But now here's the other thing. Again, based off of your background, based off of your demographics for me you can't come to me with hair you can't come with hair you can't come with hair so for me i won't let you come and get a sew in with hair i have to be the one who has the hair the hair i know that sounds crazy and bougie but for me because you may go later on oh dallas can you color this i don't know where you got that hair from Okay, I don't know where that hair come from. And so when I start trying to put some light on there and baby, the hair start turning hot red, orange, pink, and yellow and gray. I don't know what the hell you did to that hair. So ma'am, I'm sorry. You will not be getting that service from me. So I have just took and stayed with that kind of idea that I'm just not going to, you know, I'm like, you you got some hair already. If, 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 it, if you ain't get it from me or if I know it ain't that, sugar, I'm not, I'm not sewing that. Not them jig, but I did at one point in time when I had them jigsaw puzzles back in the day. I did. I've done them too. I've done, done them. I've done them. And I, I still do it. Of course, I'm gonna charge you a little bit more money for it, but I will do it. But I prefer not to do it. Yeah, I just went ahead and said, "No, nah, I'm done." <laughs> you know, I'm done. And if you want some new hair, I, 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 I can get you some. <laughs> I can get you some. Yeah. It's the stutter. Yeah, I, 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 it's the stutter for me. I, 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 I can get you some. <laughs> But what we're not going to do is the use the hair that you just brought in here that you probably got out of some wheelbarrow. No. Not the wheelbarrow. Yes. And I'm going to tell you like this. If y'all kin to my mama, y'all got buckets and hag, bags of hair that y'all just keeping up. And it's all from different times. Different times. Different, different years. Different <laughs> I say invest in, listen, you know, before, you know, back in the day. <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> back in the day, I'm sorry, people. See, this is that conversation that we have on the side. Back in the day, you know, doing a full sew-in like this, I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, and y'all, I got, I'm a little long in the tooth, okay? I mean, you know, I am. Oh, I actually said it, didn't I? Okay. I finally admitted it. Girl, I'm 29. Shut the hell up. Anyway, back to it. Back in the day. You know, getting an extension, I was just talking about this with a good friend of mine, Dwight Eubanks, and some of you know Dwight. Um, back in the day, getting a full sew-in was like a luxury. You know, it was a luxury. And women did not get it, and you could see them getting a full sew-in. Mm -hmm. You could never see, you know, her getting that full sew-in. It was private. And, you know, if they took their time in selecting great, you know, lengths of hair mm -hmm. that really really went with who the they are texture. and their it, 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 you you could almost never tell that they had a sew it um now baby 
Y'all, the Gen X's, you can do it on the side of Main Street. And so it, and they don't really care because guess what? They're going to take that right out in the next few days or a week and change it to the new hairdo that she wants. The, the being able to have that instant gratification to change it. So, you know, my point that I'm saying is that seeing someone like this choose hair that's going to last you a long time. Um, I choose to use raw Vietnamese raw. Um, and you know, you know, I may get some backlash on this, but I'm going to say it because my sister wears it and wears it religiously, but I use Vietnamese on her. And the reason why I use Vietnamese on her, because I call it lifetime hair because it's an investment. And so when she has an investment, it, I, it, lasts, I, so long. it lasts. So I have put that stuff in her head. <laughs> when I say stuff, that Vietnamese, I have colored it, highlighted it and put it in her head and I've done it probably the last three years, the same Wait. set of bundles, the same set of bundles. Now she and I, we, you know, we talk now and she's going, I'm, I'm going to talk to Mikey. I want some, <laughs> I want some more hair. I'm like, girl, but she doesn't need it because it's a lifetime. So watching this and watching Brandon, you know, quickly. sew these unit, I mean, these pieces in, this is something that that Diamond is going to be able to keep for a, for a while, you know, and enjoy this hair. And they know me. Oh, yeah, we do know her. Yeah. Ja. I am the stylist that hair is never done. Ja. You know, I said that, I, I asked a lot of people ask this question. Why is it that stylists never have their hair done? And mine do. But anyway, go ahead. A lot of stylists don't have their hair done. is because we're too busy working out and worried about your hair. We don't actually really give the time for us. By the time I'm done Booze. flipping and curling done, and we talk, buzz. Y'all hear me say that buzz? <laughs> that buzz. But then you start to work with guys like this. Okay. <laughs> Who tell you? Listen, I when when I when I when I had salons and 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 ran salons and were a part of salons and many people will tell you that who have worked with me. I prefer you to wear heels. Splitting your skirt. Okay, splitting your skirt. I want you to wear heels, long hair. and I want your hair long, long and I want your perfectly. I want your faces beat out. Okay, no kitten heels. Okay, no kitten heels. Dallas will talk about you if you if you got, if you want you a present a presentation and you don't come that way. He's going to talk about you and don't in your care. face. In your face, yeah, in your face. I'm going to let you know you are not dressed appropriately because again. From being the salons that I'm used to, to to working with and working, you know, uh, alongside, um, especially in the, you know, Philadelphia, the DC, the, you know, Jersey, uh, some of those areas, the 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 wealthier you look behind that chair, the bigger your tip came. I didn't make a difference how great you are. The wealthier you look, and and so being in big major cities like that. People walked in, and when they walked in, they're looking for a stylist. They're looking for the best looking one in there. That's their security of saying, you know, oh, I'm gonna get my hair done. If you in there and your hair look a hot mess, they gonna ask why? How you know how to do? How you know how to do hair? Because <laughs> look at you. Uh, look at how she dressed. She's frumpy. She's no makeup. She's you know walking around. And even though she might be you know, a beast at doing some sew-ins, she's you know still frumpy and. So, so when you have a chance, can you plug up that hot comb? I sure can. Can anybody ask any other questions y'all have at this point in time right now? I know y'all are watching, but any other questions and that you, you have? You have noticed. Look, baby, she damn near done. Oh, yes. I don't take long. That's why I get quiet a lot of times because I'm like one of those people that can't walk and chew gum at the same time. He can't. <laughs> And when I start talking, it slows me down. It, it does. And as growing up, as my grandmother being one of those ladies that always was in a beauty shop getting her hair done, I used to hate and I used to feel that every woman wants to get cute, but nobody wants to sit in a beauty shop all, all day. day. Oh my God. And back in the day, and I, I, it's gotten a lot better, but back in the day, it's like they'd be in that shop all day doing hair. Oh my God. And that used to be a pet peeve of mine. I was like, if I start doing hair, that's one thing I'm going to make sure that, because we know people still got other stuff to do. It's a pet peeve, but at the same time, if you like your style, you don't mind it because of the yeah. environment. I'm trying to get y'all the hell out because they coming in and they play with me. I got to get out. 
That's all it, it's, your, it's the personality for me. <laughs> I'm like, get out. I, okay, go on somewhere. Make one. I got one. I love her to death. She's trying to eat food. She's trying to watch TV. <laughs> Cook, eat. Cook. Uh, girl, go somewhere. Sit down. Quit that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of uh Same thing with you. I'm not a fan of uh, you guys sitting around and hanging out. And she said, he's right. We're selling beauty. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm selling some beauty, honey. I want you gorgeous. And don't then and, and baby, my 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 ooh, when I managed salons and had a lot. Baby, my hairstylist in there, they used to, who they used to hate me. Them girl, I'm not wearing heels, Dallas. Yes, you are. <laughs> you will be wearing heels. I'll put you in the back of the salon around the corner. Back in the back where no one can see you, or I put you in the back and, and like way in the back where the where the, where the break room is. That is a break. Mm -hmm. Where the break room is, around the corner where there's a petition wall that blocks you. Let's see how much money you get back there. Yeah, and, and baby, they hate. But then if you can't wear at least a six inch heel, you can't hang. Oh yeah, and so then, but then they start seeing all the other stylists in there, like the ones that was wearing. Them heels and wearing the, the makeup and the hair laid, fried, dyed, and not done. In, what, hold, lip, 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 lip. Came in already done. Came in already done. Not come to the salon looking like you got out of bed and then start doing your hair. Yeah. Came in already laid. That means you planned your day. And when you come in, you came in and they had their coffee in their hand or their shy, chai, shy tea, right? And you walk in, ready, lip gloss on, pump, popping. And their tips started going up. I mean, honestly, I got to just really, really tell you, um, you know, their tips started really, really jumping up. Their books started really, really growing. And so when I say really growing, when just the week before, because you, you, you in a major salon that has a major walkthrough. And so if you have this major walkthrough, you know, you really are the eye that the people are catching. And so last week you had 12 clients. This week, because you dressed up, put those heels on, and you put that lipstick on, and you had their hair beat out, and they thought you were, you know, from the movie Devil Wears Prada or something mm -hmm. like that. That's my movie. Okay, that's my favorite movie, too. I think we're going to need a jacket. I think that's, that's <laughs> my favorite freaking movie. And who are you? But anyway, um, that, that when you had 12 clients last week, but now this week when you came in dressed like that, now you got 32. Mm -hmm. Not 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 12, 32. Image is everything. I always remember that. Image is everything. And we are selling beauty. And if we are selling beauty, like this, this particular um, um, watcher is, 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 is saying, we're selling beauty. If we're selling it, we are the hairstylists. If we are hairstylists and we're selling that, we always got to look great. Even if you are not a beauty, you know, hairstylist, if you are selling hair, why would you walk around? Looking like you peddling, you know, I, I want to say something crazy, but I'm not. That you peddling uh, unmarked, unnamed, hustle book, a bag, handbags that you, you know, you know, yeah. What you call them? What do you call them kind of bags? Because I don't buy them, so I don't know. Knockoffs. Knock you walk around like you peddling knockoffs. Why would you want to walk around like that? Don't do that. Okay. Be a be a businessman or a businesswoman. You know, I, I, I have a I have a thing that I say also. You know what I'm not gonna say that I say too much. Keep going, Brandon. Because look at Brandon. Brandon almost got this uh so in done. You see them hands? Maybe them hands gone. He look, uh, he got that heavy hand though, y'all. <laughs> he pushing that head down. <laughs> right, I'm gonna move it the way I need to. Now, one thing about me, yes, I am very heavy handed. Yes. But if you can ask, Dr. well, y'all can't ask her, but I'm going to ask her for y'all. Um, her sewing is secure, but it's not secure enough to where it gives her a headache. Ooh. A lot of these girls, they want their hair done, but when you've been too, it's not, you don't have to do that sewing that tight for it to stay locked and secure. It's too much pressure. It's not protective. It's, at not, that point. it's not protective at that point. It's causing a, a discomfort. 
Mm -hmm. You get a song and you don't need to go home and go have to take three or four Advil to go lay down before you go to sleep. Wow. No, we don't mm -hmm. need that. Feel like your whole face stretched back. We didn't sing that many times. You don't get no face lift with me, but you ain't gonna get no where you gotta go die and eat and where you gotta go take all this dope and medita medication and do all this other stuff just to stop the pain. No, you're not doing that with me. It's gonna be a nice secure because I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you, your head's on, get swung on. Yes, I'm gonna yank it for the camera. <laughs> wow. Wow. Watch, you said, mm -mm. uh -huh. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to say something, but I'm not. Speak your mind. I'm not going to speak my mind because I don't feel like fighting with you right about now. You're not going to fight anything. We got all these people right here. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. I ain't going to fight with you. Put not the look. <laughs> I just. Just want to me. Um, one of the questions said, let's go ahead. It says, Brendan, mm -hmm. it says, do you work with people who have severe hair loss, edges, and crowns? Yes, I do. Oh. Okay. Just going to be honest with you. I, I can break anything down and I can make Ooh. it all work. Oh. You see that name? Huh? You see that name? You know who that is, right? Who? One more. That ain't your mama. That is, oh my God, it is. <laughs> That's why I said, oh. It is. Mama. <laughs> Girl. Hey, mama. And yes, for those that want to know, I do make wigs too as well. With private label extensions. Of course. Because I actually got some extra private label hat right now that I need to go make a wig for. Maybe with. I got an extra one too. <laughs> extra six thirteen. Like I told you, I love private label. The bundles are nice and full. The closures are nice and full. Look at this loose wave, though, y'all. This loose and wave. Even... Mom, to my head. <laughs> <laughs> the the but listen the the hair is just. I love this loose wave. Wait. Mama and daddy watching. Your daddy just said something. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So that you said something when he said, yes, we can hear great. That was your, see? That means y'all heard me talking about y'all earlier. <laughs> but it was good, though, because I was talking about her, and I told her that, you know, mom and daddy, my friend. So don't play, because I'm still, I'm still Dallas. And I still got her, got her back. And I still will pull out that belt if she acted crazy. I still pull it out and call you on the phone. Can I beat your daughter ass? Because she's like, acting crazy. went on a whole ring. Right. But that's my baby, though. But I'm like, I beat that ass. You get crazy. I'm about to come out here and hunt. You tag that ass. Call your mama dad in a minute. Like, do you know what your child was out here doing? I had to light that ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's what the Paul Mitchell's babies, that's what the Paul Mitchell parents, they go, look, we know you in good hands. Well, we know Dallas was raised by the old, good old old school mama. Mama used to show up on the, at the skate ring with the belt. Get your ass. Good. Get your ass. Not the skating ring. Baby, they tell me, your mama coming up here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you try to hide in the corner of the bathroom. Wow. Mama talking about we would not expect anything less. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, yeah, just looking at this, this, you know, loose wave, guys. Um, it just looks incredible. It looks incredibly full. I love the fact that um with the loose wave, you know, you don't really have to do too much work to it. It's so natural looking. And so if if you are that working woman who needs something, you can pop in. It looks like it's really, really yours. Um, something that looks more organic for you. This would be the option that you go for. I always tell people jump on the loose wave. Um, it's in between. It's not a body. It's not the body wave and it's not the deep wave. It's in between. So it's like a little twist. Micah calls it a, a, a twist. You know, the loose with a twist. Um, I enjoy it because, again, as I said, I, I really, really push 
our customers into my customers into purchasing this one just for the fact that it just looks so good, you know? A lot of people are going for that, you know, beachy, wavy, and it's it's just it's not quite a beach wave, you know, and not quite a deep wave, you know. It's just right in that little in between. It's the wan curls that fell that you did yesterday, right? <laughs> right. It's the wan curls that you did yesterday, and now they've fallen, and it's like it's like when you're looking at you like, <laughs> baby, this this how I really want my hair to look. <laughs> You know, this is what I was going for. right? And I love when my customers when I used to wind their hair up, um, or even spiral curl their hair. When they used to spiral curl their hair, and you know, they walk out with them. I, I've already taken them and kind of peeled them out. Excuse me, that kind of peeled them out a little bit. And then the next day, it has loosened up, and they've taken a selfie, going, "Oh my god, I love my hair." Yeah. yeah, that's 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 that look. You get it right then. So. He's almost done. This is my last track, actually. Look at that. That last track, baby. I had to plug his stuff up over there, too, baby. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Madonna, now that we're already at the top, how did your hair feel, honestly? Um, I feel that something is on my head, Boom. but it does not feel like I have almost 10 rows of tracks in my head. <laughs> and she was counting the rows. Again, a hairstylist will count their own rows going on in their head. Okay? Definitely not too tight. I can still move my head. I can still move my eyebrows. Right. I can move my eyebrows, yeah. Now, guys, we do have several different markets that we're looking at here. We're looking at our Facebook. We're looking at our Facebook group. We're looking at our YouTube. We did have our Instagram that was going at one point in time also. Um, but, you know, we really wanted to just get all of our perspectives. Trust me, this will be saved into the archives. You can go back to it into your um, uh into your YouTube and look at the information on YouTube. We revisit it again. You can also go back into our Facebook uh, stories or go back into our Facebook page on the feed and revisit this again. So Brandon and Diamond will live in our in our Facebook group uh, forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, ever. So what he's going to do now is as he's finishing that close, uh, closure. <laughs> so once I get to the top, um, I've combined my top track with my closure. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to look up in, trying to pull at the same time. Um, I combine those two tracks together so they'll sit like this, actually exactly on top of each other. So with that, that would take away you being able to see that, uh, that, white, cap that white cap that's in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I see that you use... Uh, Cotton thread, mm -hmm. right? I see you use cotton. I'm a fan of nylon. I use both of them. It just depends on which one I decide to do. It really don't make a difference to me. Um, yes, the nylon is more durable than the cotton one, and some people don't like the cotton on them because they may be allergic to it on them. It may do a little irritation to their scalp. It's a lot of different reasons why. But it just told me what your preference is. Come on, shake it, up. girl. We didn't got in your head yet. Oh, she's such my twin. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's so, my such my spirit world. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually rotating her and show y'all. See? See, it ain't going nowhere. See, it's secure. It ain't going. Oh, nowhere. oh, oh, See, oh. She, 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 oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> So right now, I'm going to use now. I'm actually getting one of my next strips because I'm actually going to start molding her and taming her down. So I'm going to give this to you. Now, I have known people who they would drop this right here and go, okay, girl, you good. They would drop this and cut that lace. I'm like, all right, girl. See you later, girl. 
But here's the thing that you want to really customize your look as something you do. Um, this is where you are customizing it, making it your uh, precise look for the guest. I always like to tell my customer what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and then showing them how to do it as well because they are my walking billboard. And so since they're my walking billboard, I want other people to see them, see that look, and then go, okay, yeah, I want to get this. I like Brandon. You know how to do it like they do it on the YouTube. Put your hand behind it. Put your hand behind it like this. Look it up, the camera, camera, the camera over there. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at because the screen over here, the camera over there. So I'm trying to like, hey, it's phone. It's a little phone. <laughs> it's a little moose. It's a little moose. That's all. Okay. It's a little moose. That's all. And you see how when that head get wet, how that curl come in, real cute. Like Look at that curl come in, real curl. That. Come on. That's it right there, even though it's that moose. <laughs> but I can't be mad because you know what? That moose is from my people. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, you better call I, it that. Oh, <laughs> it is from my people because I, I had to smell it right quick. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't, I don't look at the, the what's name. I had to smell it. And when I smelled it, I had to look back and go, wait, them from them my people. I know that uh, smell. I know that smell. Okay. They they are my people, Bronner Brothers. Okay. Bronner Brother, Bronner Brother. Bye, Look at that wave, baby. Look at that. Look at that curl. You give me Jody Wallet right about now. Y'all know nothing about no Jody Wallet. I'm looking for I heard a new a song love, last week baby. About you. Love. Oh, that song? No, not that. Oh. Um, it was Faith Evans, Mary J. Hey, love don't live. Love don't live no more, baby. You remember we did that in the class? I had to show people. Baby, I had to show people. All right, okay. He's telling you what he's doing now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is now that I actually moved her and started tamping our hair down, what I want to do is start now is start to my glue process. Um, the glue that I will be using today is... It is, it is not, not, mm. <laughs> <laughs> not in there, not in there. Not in there, I ain't. Okay. You be using some glue. <laughs> <laughs> no shame. I mean, it is not. I just, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I apply little dots across the front to where I want that closure to lay. And but I, but wait, hold on. I love that glue. Okay, I do. I know that's your but sister. At, that that uh, uh, don't get it right. That's my wife. Oh, your wife. That's yeah, my yeah. yeah, that's my industry wife. Get it right. That's my industry wife. The only thing is, is that um, you know, if I don't mind you sharing. <clears throat> But for her, no. I mean, right. I just, I, I want to make sure that you know. Understandable, right? Respectful. It's, I'm being respectful for my girl. That's my baby. So what I do, like I said, I always use. You can either use a lot of people use. You can use popsicle sticks. You can use the metal part of your rat tail comb to help lay this glue out. Um, because you want to make it as a, like a little coating. Right here, that'll help. What that does is help that lay naturally into the head. Um, I do do three layers of it. Um, girl. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to fan it a little bit. Just to let it dry a little bit here before I actually go through and dealing with that. I knew you was listening to music. Yeah. Both of us. I, I knew y'all were. I knew y'all were listening to music. You know, we can't do nothing without Y'all can't do nothing without music in their ear. And I was like, I just heard it, people, that they were listening. Let me put on my music. Let me, turn my music. Let me put on my private label. It's the intro. I remember when this song was dropped. Baby, I was at school tearing it up, baby. It was a big ordeal. It was a huge ordeal. All that. It was huge. So we walked around that whole school and sung that song every day, all day, all day, all day. 
I was so excited you about that. You sent it process. out to the whole design I team. I sent it out to everybody. <laughs> I sent it out to everybody. I did. I sent it out. I had everybody. You know, Marcus said something to me uh, yesterday that was hilarious um, because, you know, oddly enough, um, is that we get to see people coming in quite often. Mm-hmm. Um, and because in the time we go, go down, I mean, go over to the, to the, to the uh, store location, whenever we go to the store location and have a little couple of funds down there, um, when we go to that store location, you know, every like 15, 20 minutes, mm-hmm. one of my kids come in. Yes. Mm-hmm. One of my former or current or whatever kids come in. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Dallas. And, and, and we, we started laughing because I started reaching out to people saying, hey, I'm going to grab people, you know, to come in and join me so we can do a little bit of training here. Yada, yada, yada. And then I said to Marcus, I said, because, and it's so interesting, Marcus, because, you know, everybody is already, you know, private label extension. They're already using it. So it's really, really kind of easy. They're already using the product. Marcus said, that ain't interesting. <laughs> I, I was like, what? And he's like, that ain't interesting. From day one, when we come to school, from day one, you're going private label extension. You, he said you sublim- you embed it in yeah, your yeah. head, in your ear, so in your body. In the like, He's like, well, that's all we get. It's private. It's, <laughs> let's go there. We there's, know there's, they got there. some hair. Right, because there's nothing else that's there because all day long, that's all he talks about. It's private label extension. This is the only place I could get hair through the whole pandemic. Like I'm I was you. searching. Wow. Yeah, especially for your closures. Everybody else oh does hair. Goodness. You can find closure nowhere. Facts. I promise you, private label had them. Facts. And I was in there trying to, I'm going to tell you like this, I'm going to be real with you and tell a realistic story. I was trying to get Dallas to go out to eat with me one day because I'm fat. Even though I'm small, I love to eat. But he I, called me fat. But go I ahead. called Dallas to go out to eat. Dallas said, I can't do that. I got to get these closures box closures on here. I said, Dallas, this can't wait. He said, no, they're not right now. We're going to do that after that. Okay. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. I gotta get these clothes. these people looking for these clothes? I, I, these these clothes. I got all the inventory in my clothes. I got, I got to get these clothes. Well, they they came out hard. They were real hard. And private label, I can't honestly sit there and say private label did come through. Private label had even had a sale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they got a mini sale. Mini sale. You had a wholesale day. <laughs> had a sale. We had a we had a uh, uh, beauty biz event and had hair there. Oh my god! It's just you know again. Um. I, I, that's why I told you. I said, Mikey, I love him that Mikey is all about, hey, let's do what we can do to continue to make sure that the business is growing, going, bumping, you know, all of that, and that everybody can make money. I love that. All right. He's getting ready to straddle her in front of the camera while her mother and father are looking. Hey, Mama. Hey, Daddy. Okay. It's just so great. Thank you. Mom, Dad, I did not have anything to do that. Yes, Mama says she loved the lashes because she got them. Flaunt them, Mom. Okay, I see you. So now this is a blend. A blend, and what I'm doing is actually from that glue, I'm actually molding that cap into that glue. I love it. And when you apply your glue, you don't want that glue to be so white. You want it to be like a tacky, so that once it sticks there, it sticks. She say a stick. He say a stick, a stick. A stick. A stick, baby. I'm sorry, I'm country. I got out of country. <laughs> Say a stick. I told and, y'all he country. And y'all, if y'all really don't, if y'all haven't realized yet, I don't mind asking her to help me hold stuff. Oh, I don't, ask, I don't mind asking my cousin in a minute. Here, hold this. Hold that. Hold it. But I really let them hold products. Because when you let them hold products, they read it. Mm-hmm. And they actually mm-hmm. figure out what they use. They figure out what they use it. So I asked them the whole product. The thing about a person that I can also say they don't really read the products they use and they hate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're not using the right products for the right hairstyle, the right look that they're trying to achieve. And then it looks a fool. And then they're like, I don't know why I can't get my hair to do right because you went down to this little place down at the drug store. Not the drug store. Not even the drug store. Girl, I see. I don't, see. That's the thing. I don't call out names, but they went to a drug store. Okay. But 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 or some of these stylists. Ooh. Ooh. Go to the drugstore. Ooh. 
not even go to the drugstore. Some of these stylists don't know their products. <gasps> and they don't know what hair. <laughs> she is telling it. Because <laughs> I'm sorry, I work at Cosmoprop. So I see this every day. Tell it. Tell it. Licensed stylists are not knowing. Ooh, child, that's another whole lot. Another what's story. in these products? What are the benefits of these products? What the difference in the products are? Because some of the products can do the same things, but in different ways. Listen to her preach. So the stylists really need to study. Their product knowledge is important. It's key. Very important. It's key. Product knowledge is key. So trust you me. I'm not. I listen. I better know what's a lipophilic and hypophilic, hypophilic uh, product before I put it on somebody. Because if you put a lipophilic on the head and it's dry, you good. But if you put a hydrophilic on the head and it's dry, baby, you wet. So be, and people don't understand what that means. And I go, wait, what did you just say? You, you just, sweetie, learn your product. I get the dumbest look when they come in and say, I need a heat protecting spray. Do you want a spray or do you want an aerosol? Oh, and they're like, and they're like, huh? huh? Do you want it when it's wet or do you want it when it's dry? Huh? Okay. Okay. What do you mean? You can't do it when it's wet. Yes, you yes, can. can. <laughs> yes, you can. And y'all see what I'm doing is actually taking my hot comb to it. I'm sorry, I keep the camera's not at that. Um, yeah, what I'm doing is basically you see how I'm actually laying that flat into there because you want that hair to look like it's gone out that scalp. Right. We all know that it is weed, but we don't want to look like you got a hat on your head. We, but, have, we wear hats for reasons. But hats we don't know that that's a, a extensions. We don't know that. I know you're supposed to. Right. Just like I was almost called a, a celebrity. I just saw her just this on Monday on her new show. And I was like, baby, she always wears extensions. And you don't know. But she always. I'm not calling out her name. Because she might be watching on this program. And if she's watching on this program, I ain't got time to fight her husband. I ain't got time. Y'all been to show it too. Wonderful. I love that people are continue to mold. And when I say continue to mold, is that a lot of people don't understand the importance of having that, um, you know, strip that you add around those edges to mold that 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 edge down. Okay, now what are you using? A wax stick. Wax no. stick. <laughs> you, it's a bad head. We don't have a wax wax stick. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I, listen, 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 Linda. I'm just saying is that currently, right now, while we're in the new in, in the newness of this, in the newness of this, thinking about as me being, you know, with Paul Mitchell being a national educator with John Paul Mitchell Systems, yada, yada, yada. I'm telling people, hey, you know, use this, this, this. If I'm ever at doing a John Paul Mitchell System class, a Paul Mitchell class, if I'm ever out in a salon doing that, I will never bring up another product. I, can, I can't. I it's can just, it's, just, it's just out of respect. I would never bring up another product. Understandable, and, that's a, it's a and so, and, and the only reason why it's another product, if it's something that we sell, if it's something that we have, such as if if we're talking about Lightner, I'm not going to talk about Weller Lightner at another salon because I have a Lightner, like Paul Mitchell. We have, we no, have I was going to say you do, right? <laughs> <laughs> but and so that's why I'm not going to do that. And so you know, that's all. We're just we're just learning as we go. That's all. But at, at the same time, it's also still, you know, great respect for, but, but great respect for all of my industry friends and people in the industry. Great respect for them, you know, and that works. But we have one too. Yeah, clearly, there you go. Ah, she, she is secure. 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 Maybe I didn't say secure. 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 Yes, you can use this with a razor to cut this lace off, but I'm using actually my shears. Does it matter to me? No. Some people say it do, but it don't matter to me. Some people I've noticed that they cut in the middle and then cut from the middle to side to side. That's Some people cut from, um, from, from, from corner to corner. It's up to them. Again, I don't tell you it's a right or a wrong way. If it works for you, baby, you can hang up from the ceiling, from the bare feet, butt naked, balancing greasy BBs while you're cutting it. Baby, if you can make it happen, do it. I, I tell my students this anytime when they're round brushing. I'm going, 
I tell you the, this is the way that is more ergonomically correct for you to round brush it. But if you can round brush it backwards. Yeah, because he couldn't teach me. Doing a split, doing whatever. If you can do this and then get the same result, by all means, do it that way, baby. She telling a lie, I could teach you. Oh, lies. So, that you, you tell. Uh-uh, we don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay. Because your mama and them dad will see your head get taken out your head on, on live TV. <laughs> it's not that you couldn't teach me. I was just a challenging learner. All right, clearly. <laughs> clearly, but I always wanted your hair round brush. Because I'm got some pretty hair, but I'm got some long pretty hair. It's all right. But Diamond is a stylist. And Diamond don't want to comb. And Diamond don't want to comb my hair. My mom and daddy do that too. Now, ooh, now, Guys, look how full this is with two bundles and a closure. <laughs> Your mom and daddy are going out. <laughs> They're going out. <laughs> this is two bundles and a closure. Look how full that is. Right? Imagine if he'd have molded that, used that uh, wax stick, and with that wax stick, put it up on the dryer. After he put his product, his foam, Brother Brothers, foam on their head. After he do that Brother Brothers foam on their head, drop her like that right there, like it's hot. Baby, she went out the door lit, ready, ready for the glue. What he's doing now is going through and taking a light bit of plucking in the area. I, we said this on the last time we had someone here. I was saying, you know, just because you start plucking when the guest is finished doesn't mean, oh, I didn't get it. No, get it. You're just customizing it. You're customizing it some more. You're customizing it some more. Someone told me um, once before, they were like, you know, I would I would do it. I mean, if I didn't get it then, I ain't going to try to get it now. Well, then you're going to let your client go ahead and look like food. So, oh, he finna edge her up and everything, too. <laughs> I'm law, he finna put Wait, that gonna, Okay, so since this hair is already that get up and go hair, we ain't got to do no styling to it. He about to put some baby hairs on her, and he about to, huh? Gone. I might have to, uh... <laughs> you ain't going nowhere tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mama, you hear that? That thing said, I might have to, uh, nah, if Brandon did look dead in her face, you ain't going nowhere tonight, girl. It's coronavirus. Sit your head down. Like future. Oh, I'm about to turn it on now. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, tell yourself. Don't do it. <laughs> I had to tell myself that. Don't do it. Because if I turn future on right now, baby, it, I'm, all this stuff, man, all this shit can be tore up right here. <laughs> <laughs> all this shit can be tore up. Flipped over table. Okay, yeah, hey, better. I love how he's customizing it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Come on, highlights. He is steady plucking. Pluck and pull, pluck and pull. Y'all, it is a full week for me. Yes. It's not as flat. Oh, I'm sorry. Private label extensions. Please visit privatelabelextensions.com. Before I finish up, I want to show y'all this. Look, Donna. Come on. No bulkiness. You see our flatness. She is flat. Flat to death. Flat. Ooh, look at that, baby. Looking like Naomi Campbell. Looking like Naomi Campbell, baby. Flat to death. But now, he, look at the fullness of this being a 14 and a 12. A 14 and a 12. Oh, look, he's in my sit still. <laughs> a 14 and a 12, being able, if you want to put an edge control, your edge control on there, you can do it. I mean, it's up to you, baby. It's not edge control. I'm no, I'm saying it. if you want to do an edge control and Give her baby hairs. Oh, yeah, go, yeah, go. oh okay. So what I'm doing, I'm defining this part. Mind my business. 
I had to shut up. You said I turned my head. Right now, what I'm doing, her sewing is done. What I'm doing is just customizing and making it look more natural. He's so picky, y'all. I'm one of those people, if I see it, I know somebody else don't see it. He's and so picky. And if you're friends with Dallas Christopher, he gonna point it out and don't care who it is. Woo! Wow! wow. Am I that boy? Yes. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. You are. You don't, okay. try, you don't try to. Wait, depending on who it is. What do you mean? Cause some, you're not like that with everybody. What I say with everybody? Because sometimes people get the feelings hurt, they get to look crying and right. crying out. So you can't, that's why you've learned. And Dallas, like, and Dallas don't do too well with all these crying emotions. Yes, I do not do well. I do not do well with tears. I oh. do not do well with none of that. Baby, you get the crying and going off. I'm like, you, want said, no you better take what he say. Dallas said, ain't no crying at the bank. Get the important stuff <laughs> out. <laughs> and, <go>. <laughs> and he don't want to hear how you felt some type of way either. Okay. I really don't. You gotta, you gotta I really don't. <laughs> and he's going to tell you I love you tomorrow, but today you won't. He's going to tell you the truth today. He's going to tell you the truth right now, baby. Okay? <laughs> and I still love him. All my heart. But my mama used to give me the truth, baby. When I said, mama, it's my birthday, she said, baby, it's just another day. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's when you know. That's when I knew. She said, baby, it's just another day. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's the day you released me. She said, it's just another day. Keep pushing. I'm like, good God. So I guess I got it from my mother. All right, again, you are in front of the camera so that people can only see your rear end. Yeah. Nice yeah, I am not, and, then, and and the people are not wanting to look at this at this point. They want to see you finish it. What I'm doing is adding a little foam right here, because I'm going to start molding and shaping down a baby hair. That's a sharp part. Baby, ain't it? He split that like the river. <laughs> oh, Jordan. Like, oh, Jordan, baby. He split that like, huh? <laughs> Wasn't the Red Sea, the River John, how they broke apart. <laughs> Jesus said, go. <laughs> right, I was going to say, please let that boy finish. Maybe that got to be, y'all got to have that got to be. It's the best creation. Hello. That got to have it. It come well, out like, it was baby, it come out like a, it, <laughs> it come out like a bug spray. It come out, <laughs> baby, it come out like a bug spray. I promise you, it's so funny. If you ain't careful, it start running down. It <laughs> run. It come out like bug spray. But when I say y'all get that hard, hard, hard to that hard, hard, hard. You think it's harder than the spritz, like actual spritz? No. You know the spritz I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. <laughs> no. And and I know I know the brown the brown one right uh -huh. there. But then I listen, ain't nothing like Barney Brothers pump it up though. Ain't nothing like Barney Brothers pump it up. Ain't nothing like Barney Brothers pump it up. That pump it up will clog up its own pump. Baby, it'll clog its own pump up. You gotta run into the high water to get it off. Brother Brothers don't be playing. I said y'all done lost your mind with that. They pump it up. Baby, listen, on the show. Uh, uh, and and I have some some women of other, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and baby, when they when we get ready to do a set a green screen, mm -hmm. I will pull out that pump it up as my last thing, and and the people in the, in, on the on the on the set, they're like, "What is that smell, <laughs> Dallas? What is that smell, baby? That's that pump it up." <laughs> I tell him in a minute, don't step pump it up. She ain't moving nowhere. Baby, that's that pump it up, don't go nowhere. Until you my, pump baby, it ain't go no. You gotta pump it out. And you, don't even pump it out. You just gotta go straight to the wash mode. Or you could but now what you can do is you can do a light brush. Okay. You can do a light brush and it comes right on with a light brush. I've also had a little technique that I've added a little baby powder in my brush and it comes oh, it, oh, it separates it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Trick for the folks who didn't hear that. Add a little baby powder in your brush. And you'll, you'll pump it up. We'll release. Look, you see? I got a little baby head now. I look a little natural. She does. Okay. 
She got that hair parted like the Red Sea. And that face. She knew she was doing with Dallas Christopher. Yeah, she did. She knew with Dallas Christopher. She knew <laughs> she that. Said, she said, I've dealt with him too many times. Too many times. <laughs> Like, they've been put on a spot. <laughs> exactly. Tell you what, the way Britannica, she like, um, you got big diamond looking amazing. I love diamond. She's like, I love that. was called me the day before that and was, let me tell you something, no green hair. Okay. <laughs> okay. I heard I've got you got no green hair, no blue hair, no none of that. We're all black. We're all black. Make sure you have a nice heel. Britannica don't play that. You know, I always come through with the heel. You do. You do. And I knew you were going to be around Dwight also. And, and I'm telling you. You know, I've done work with Yeah, you've worked with Dwight before as well. I'm telling you, my friends are direct. All right, guys, we are finishing this. Thank you for joining us on today. We jumped in here and got right on it. We had a little bit of technical difficulty at the beginning, but it's okay. But I promise you, and when I say I'm going to do something, I've done something. We were planning on doing one on Wednesday, but the young lady, she got a little ill. And uh, uh, she, it looks like she got a little food poison. And uh, a little, 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 little tank tank. And a uh, po thing. And so, um, yeah, she was not able to be in here. Um, but I knew we had this one here today. And even though we were filming today, um, and we were like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it, and yada, we made it make. We made it make. Made it make sense. Oh, we made it make sense. And I just really want to say I appreciate both Brandon and Diamond coming to um, to my office, to the office here, and like hanging out. Like they hung out for a couple of hours, and you know, production sometimes. When they get to working, man, it's like if they can't get that magic, they're going to continue to do it over and 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 over again until they get the best scene that they can get. And that's what they had to do. We had some beautiful things that we wanted to showcase today from private label extensions. And so we needed to make sure it looked beautiful and read beautiful. And so we finally got it. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so natural. Now I'm going to need you to every day. Ma'am, because you ain't got to worry about doing your hair now. You just put a little foam, 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 and the foam, foam, foam on your head. And when you put a little foam, the foam, foam, foam on your head, you were you were in the jaw. You were in the jaw. Yes, come on up. She came up for air. You ain't, look when I say it's so natural. You didn't even cut nothing yet. You just okay. said, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and work with it. Look how beautiful that looks. Cause it's nice and then flowing and then it sits together so you don't have to really do too much cutting of it. And then it looks like, again, it's her hair. Looks like it came out of root, even though like mom and daddy say, boom, there it is. Here you go, here I am. Mama, look at this, this look good now. We might need to have you come up here and do one of them one. No, I'm sorry. Take it back. Your child is an amazing hairstylist. She rolling her eyes, mama. I can see it. Let me go ahead and tell it. Your child is able to do the same thing. I've seen her do it on multiple occasions. Okay? So, Donna, mm -hmm. you want to do a favor? You want to go step into the light, Caroline? Caroline? Ooh, look at that. Look at that part. Look at the flatness. Look at the realness of it. This is a 12 inch and a 14 inch, guys. <laughs> mama said she won't do my hair. She will. <laughs> she this, will, Mama. This is a 12 inch and a 14 inch. Look at that length on that 12 and 14 inch. Look at that natural organic look on a 12 and 14 inch with a closure. That closure is a 14 inch closure. I'm sorry, a 12 inch closure, excuse me. That's a 12 inch closure with a 14 inch and a 12 inch. Very natural looking. Very, very natural looking. It is a wet and wear. It's a fun wet and wear, right? Add a little bit of water, a little bit of foam product. Looks like it's yours. Okay?
Brandon did an amazing job. Yeah, she's going to complete that look that's right there. Go on and put those blockers on and complete that look. Such an amazing girl. That's a whole photo shoot right there. Bow, 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 bow. Ready. So that, that go me. That go me. That go me. That go that <laughs> twin coming out right now. Bow. bow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So again, this is a proper label here. Everything is, and I do work for private label. I love private label. And yes, I do. Private label extensions. We like you to say the whole thing, baby. Uh, private label extensions. And if you want to follow me, you can follow me at hair by underscore B Jones on IG. And our motto is. Time. What's your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram is Saray Collier Hair. Spell it, because you need to spell it right with me. Okay? You can't spell it. Yes, I can. <laughs> she it is S-A-R-E-E-C-O-U-L-E-U-R <laughs> hair. <laughs> Kalua hair. Okay? Like she was spelling a drink or something. You should have just spelled color, honey. Okay? <laughs> Talking about she French. You ain't French. You from down there and down called Louisiana. Shut it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us uh, with this. Please make sure you follow Brandon. Please make sure you follow uh, Diamond. Diamond in the Hurt. Sarit Kalur hair. Make Saray. sure. You... Oh, God. So, now, mm -hmm. but before we let go, before we let them go, we got to at least let you come to the screen because you ain't been to the screen in a minute. Well, I mean, we're, we're, okay, I understand. We hear you from the background. We know what you look like. I'm, I'm here doing the technical stuff okay, and answering come, the come questions. Let's answer, come on, watch, we, we, dream. I'm, I'm like, what you say, Thank you, Ata. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We will see you again. Okay, you like this little private label extension set? I do like that. Hat. You like that? Hat? Yeah, I do like that. Hat. You get yourself a hat? Oh, they got one in white too for those black or white. Hey, I told you. Private label extensions has everything. Everything. Boom. Thank you guys. See you next time. We have a um a quick weave that's gonna be coming up soon. So there's gonna be a quick quick weave and cut that's gonna be coming up soon. So we look forward to seeing you guys then. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.